Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Poor Plays Infinity Factory. So, the next puzzle we're doing is Structural Frame. Hello. So now, this is what we have to build. It's a... The bones of a cube, um, five by five, with all these middle sections chopped out. And what do we have? We have we have a flat. It's not a it's not a um, rectangle. It's a nice thin flat section to build that out of. So, um, I mean, there, there's a not. I mean, we could build individual layers. Um, try and cut that one, and then cut these parts and twist them, and try and weld it all together. I'm thinking what I'm going to try and do is, if you look at a square, a cube like this, you see it's made up of these capital C's. Four of them rotated, and they all fit together perfectly. So. Um, the letter C type shape, um, five high, four wide, um, rotated and glued at the corners, will make this shape. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to chop out... Um, two, three... I need to chop out five... So I need to detect it when it's there. Um, what am I looking for here? I am looking for a sensor. Like that. Actually, why the hell did I put them that side? I have no idea. Let's just get them there. Don't need a supporting block there. Run conduit up the back of them. Run conduit over to this. Get it out of the way so it doesn't fire too many times. And send it off. Okay, so that is a... That's the slab. So now I want to make it look more like a C. Um, or a backward C or whatever. So I'm going to chop out... We want this part here. We want um, something like that, I believe. Um, so, have a quick look at it. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be good. So, what I need to do is, as that slides in, if I have the previous piece rotated, say, with this part ready to be welded onto it, and then get the weld done, um, that should work, in theory. So, um... Have a look at that. Okay. So I'd like that to be how would I like that? I'd like that to be back here, wouldn't I? So I need to get this bar back to there so that this slides in. So let me just reset that to one, two, three, four, five. So 
So that'll push it back to there, and then I want to push it to where it um Yes. So as we can see, this is forming the shape. I've already got half of it done here. So if I put a welder here and here, one of these downward looking ones, so let's get that in. Um, and run that. Okay. I mean, that is per... Well, I don't know how perfect you call something that doesn't work, but that is... First weld is done lovely. Um, second weld is great. Oh, if that was one square better this would just slot because this once this is clear this is just going to slide into this slot here so what i'm going to need to do is i'm going to need to delay this slightly aren't i so if i had a blocker here in front of this square here um let's try that when I say a blocker, I mean a pusher. And then, so this is the square here, so... If there's anything still on the track here... Um, don't go. Just worried about how to... Make sure this doesn't interrupt anything. Let's see if that... Because as it's spinning, you know, things... You know, it's, oh, you see? No, I can't detect things on the track, can I? I mean, that is just a silly idea. Okay, let's see if I can detect... Um... Something here, otherwise, I'm gonna have to have a quick look at it. Uh oh, and then turn it down. Fantastic, that's the shape done. Now, the only. Um. Oh, let's just run that again. The tricky thing now is trying to get it out. I mean, I'm thinking I could do some sort of counter system with blocks, like I have four blocks queued up here and I push them and when, and then I sort of reset it, you know, a, a little bit. Um, it seems... It seems... Uh, Seems a bit problematic. Like, if I just run it out, can, will it will it come out when a guy gets there? Okay. Why is that not spinning back? So maybe if this sensor was detecting... a guy here... would that be any better? So one... If 
he was looking down there. How about that? Okay. I wonder if this was one square further out of the way. Would it behave a little bit better? Okay, so now it's kind of shifting between these two. So if I can detect it here, over this square here. One, two, three, four, five. Put a sensor looking down. see how that looks. Not, not close enough. So let's see if this was here. But that might start getting interfering with the earlier rotation. Nope, that's it. Right, so. So if I was to run it in like that and drop it on like that, where do we get to? Does it still keep making them? Yes, that is a success. Fabulous. So I'm uh, quite, quite uh, happy with my C's and spinning them round. Um, I tried this before on a number of other puzzles back on one of the... Trying to get something to present itself and, uh, you know, turn itself and represent itself to make. I think there was a cross or something and I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure it out. So obviously something's clicked in my mind now in terms of figuring out um, these ones. So that's not bad. I'm still not happy with this blocker. It was one square out. And there's probably a, a better way of knowing the thing is done than this pretty horrible collection of... Um, sensor and blocker here. Um, but anyway, I'll fast forward it in. So, another one successfully done. Oh, not a bad solution to that. I um, just want to have a quick look. I mean, did I need to do that? Would a... Uh, would just a block there have done? Or does that stop the rotations earlier on? It does. It just can't... Yeah, it can't do the rotation. I'd have to detect something back here that the block is done. Okay, um, you know, probably possible to get this out, but... Um for another time. Okay, thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like on the video, the thumbs up button. Um, if you're liking what you see, please subscribe to the channel. It's only new. 
And if you have any comments, like to tell me anything, um, please do so underneath. Uh, thanks again for watching. Bye now.